Production of X-rays. The lab setup shown here was designed by Coolidge, and hence it is called Coolidge Tube. It contains a highly evacuated glass bulb containing a cathode, which is a tungsten filament and anode, which is a target made up of metal of high atomic weight. The pressure inside the bulb is maintained at 10 to the power of minus 6 millimeters mercury when the cathode is heated by passing a current through it from a low-tension battery, it emits cathode rays. These rays are nothing but electrons. The filament is surrounded by a molybdenum cylinder, which is kept at a negative potential to the filament. This repels the electrons further, and hence the electrons form a fine pencil beam at the center of the cylinder. This pencil beam is also accelerated by the cylinder towards the target. The target is made up of a copper block in which a piece of tungsten or molybdenum is fixed. High thermal conductivity is used to carry away the heat generated to the cooling setup. Here we use copper, which is a good conductor of heat and can take the heat away from the molybdenum metal towards the water cooling system. The target is also tilted at an angle of 45 degrees causing the electrons to hit at an angle. This will produce the X-rays almost perpendicular to the electron beam. A very high potential of 20 kV is applied between the source and the target. Due to the high potential difference, the electrons are accelerated towards the anode and it hits the metal. When it hits, the kinetic energy is transferred to produce X-rays. The intensity of the X-rays depends on the number of electrons striking the metal target. So, if we can increase the rate of electrons emitted by the filament by increasing the current flowing through the filament, then we can increase the intensity of the X-rays.